Thank you for joining our virtual Interfaith March. All of us in our different faith traditions are coming together today in our efforts to help heal the nation and the world. It's a pleasure to be with you. My name is Aziza Hassan. May peace and God's blessings be upon you. I'm a volunteer at the Islamic Center of Southern California. Greetings to everyone in the name of God, the creator of heaven and earth. I am Father George Bitrasho. I serve as the core bishop in the Assyrian Church of the East. I am the parish priest of St. Mary's Parish in Tarzana, California. Good afternoon. I am Reverend Olivia Minga from the Church of Scientology, and it's a real pleasure to be amongst you today. Shalom Aleichem. Peace be unto you. The prophet Isaiah envisions all nations journeying to learn God's ways. I'm Reverend Dr. Arthur Chang, Senior Minister of Founders Church of Religious Science at Center for Spiritual Living. And I'm happy to be participating in this uh, wonderful session of interfaith concerns about the world and healing the world. Hello, I'm Dr. Lo Sprague, the president of the Gibord Center, Religion Inside Out. My pagan community contributes to this work with activism in both the local and global forums. My name is Rich Proceda. I write about religion and politics and produce a podcast called Bible Study for Progressives. We live in a faith-based society and respecting all religions will make the world a better place. Together, here, something is the same for all of us. We each have different names for the spirit at the foundation of our traditions, but I see it as one spirit, as a living source of all our life and work. When we arrive at this spirit, the words and names fail us, like taking a Sharpie to the beach and trying to write the name Pacific Ocean on the water itself. It can't be done. It actually says in the Quran, that God breathes of God's own breath into every single one of us. So as I think of every single one of us deserving the divine and deserving the divine's mercy, that we say Bismillah rahman rahim to start almost every chapter but one in the entire Quran, that God's mercy is pervasive and for everyone, regardless of how many mistakes we make, and that it is grace that we, as the servants of the divine, should lean into more. We all agree that evil will always, will always try to divide as it's tried before, as it will try in the future. We'll always try to divide and conquer this family of God. But we must seek his guidance, guidance of God, on how to overcome this evil so that the family of God can be brought together again. And I believe that's what religious religion interfaith work is all about, is to, to overcome this evil and bring peace and harmony to the human family. And that is what is pleasing to God. We cannot underestimate the importance, the role and the hope that religion and faith give to the people when they need it. As Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard says, on the day when we can fully trust each other, there will be peace on earth. And that is exactly what we are all working towards together, hand in hand. We're very happy to be part of the interfaith community in Los Angeles, California, and around the world. We do believe that together we are stronger. We thank you for all the work that you do. We're very grateful that you're here today supporting this march. Thank you and stay well. True religion is peoples and nations joining together so that nations shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they learn to wage war anymore. Our rabbinic sages in Pirkei Avot say, Mar b'tzedakah, mar b'shalom. Without justice, there can be no peace. They also say, Mar b'tzedakah, mar b'shalom. With more justice comes more peace. Justice is Earth's evidence of God's love for us and our work together is evidence of our love for God. Religion and specifically interfaith work are critical to our healing of the nation and the world and that they provide us with the opportunity to interact with large volumes of diverse people, helping us dispel misconceptions about one another and embrace our shared humanity. This enables us to come together to work effectively 
on global issues that impact all of the people of the earth, like access to clean water, overcoming religiously motivated violence, addressing world hunger, the plight of refugees, and participating in the creation of a peaceful, sustainable planet. My upright word is hope. And what I mean is it is the most important word for both humans and for God, because it is a matter of reaching forward towards something that may never be cured nor solved, but the process which life is, is what we're engaging in. So we're, we're children of, of uh, Sisyphus. We're pushing that mythological rock up the hill, and as it gets to the top, it ro comes rolling down again, and we have to start the process all over again. Some people may see this as being futile, but this is exactly what human life is. Have we not offered a compelling enough message that they run off to conspiracy theories? We cast ourselves in, into the hands of unscrupulous actors, foreign agents, and criminal regimes when we uncritically believe the information we consume. It's up to us to bring those seduced by propaganda back into a faith consistent with the tenets, scriptures, and traditions of their religions. This is how people of faith can heal the nation. Religions working together have a unique opportunity to bring healing because of the core beliefs we share. First, we're created by something greater than ourselves. And second, that that something intends for us to care about the well-being of others. Interfaith engagement brings us together as friends and colleagues to model working for the common good. We as Jains, which is an Eastern religion started centuries ago, believe in Anikantwa, which means multiplicity of views. We practice by accepting all other religious beliefs in life. And to put it in practice, we as Jain community have embarked on doing various humanitarian missions all around the world. And when we do that, we help people of all different religious beliefs. So I'm here today to inspire us all to dive in to this one source, share it, and support each other in this healing. Thank you.